For our solar tech this month, I'm giving my two minutes to one of the pioneers of Australia's battery industry, Simon Hackett from Redflow. Over to you, Simon, and good luck keeping to those two minutes. Thanks, Finn. Here I am in Adelaide in front of some Redflow batteries that you can see behind me. These are really quite nifty batteries. They're something I found about um, almost 10 years ago now. Redflow batteries are kind of cool. They're um, designed in Brisbane. They're an unusual way to store energy. They're a thing called a zinc bromine hybrid flow battery. And what that means is there's fluid flowing around in the tanks behind me. That's got zinc and bromine in it. And these are actually devices that electroplate the zinc as you store energy. And then when you want to retrieve energy, the zinc disappears back into solution. What's that really mean? that it's an unusual battery and it does some really cool things. Redflow batteries don't care about being hot. You can run them up to 50C. They won't catch fire. In fact, they're fire retardant. They've got 100% depth of discharge and they keep that depth of discharge for their entire life. You can charge them up completely and turn them off and use them as a standby power generator. And they're made out of recyclable material. They're a very cool Australian invention, an alternative way to store energy. So the installation you can see behind me is in Adelaide in South Australia, and it's hooked onto to solar and, and is running an office building um, that we have in Adelaide. But the thing I'd really like to show you is the new installation that we've built in Tasmania. It uses the same sort of batteries. The installation we have in Tasmania has got 100 kilowatts of solar on a big ground mount array, and we're, we're gearing up to build a second 100. It's got 28 of these Redflow batteries installed and in a lovely big long room. It looks really nice. And it's got an associated control system, a whole lot of Victron energy inverters that make it all tie together. We've built this system and running it in Tasmania because we want to build a very sustainable farm. We've got a lot of solar there. One of the things about Tasmania is it's the best place in the country for solar in summer. It's the worst place in winter. That's why we're going from 100 kilowatts to 200 kilowatts of solar. So we have enough to keep the place going in winter as well as in summer. In summer, we'll export the surplus and make some pocket money. And we're also really on a mission on our farm to make the place as sustainable as we can. And we want to get rid of all of our use of diesel. We want to convert everything on the farm to electric. All the cars, all the John Deere tractors, we want, to, we want everything to be green. We don't want to burn any more diesel. And with that big solar array, we can achieve that. It's going to be a great place. Ah. Well, we're out of time to tell you about all the extra things there. There's so much stuff I'd love to show you about this, Finn, so you should come down and see the place.